Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we download attachments from a report. This use case came to me recently where somebody was asking me if we can have a report with kind of a link from where we can click and download those attachments. For example, if one incident has three or four attachments, how can we display them in reports and then click on any link and then download them. So I came up with this database view where I displayed them the incident number along with the attachment and they were able to download it. Let's quickly see that in service now. How can we do it? I'm right now in my service now and you can see this dashboard. This is where I will add that report. But first I will create a database view. And if you don't have admin access, you will have to ask your admins to create this database for you. I'll click on new and then I can name the database view as I want. I can say incident with attachments. And then I will save this. And now under view tables, I will again click on new. Where I will have to give the table name. So first table is the incident table where all the incidents are stored. I will select this. And then I can give any prefix. We don't need any where clause in this as of now. And I will submit this. And then I will again click on the new button in the view table. And then I will add the attachment table where all the attachments are stored. So the table name for that is sys underscore attachment. And I will type that here. And I will select this. And I will give a prefix here maybe attach and here I can give the where clause. So where clause is the where condition. So what condition should be matched between the incident table and the attachment table. So I can use inc underscore sys underscore id equals to attach underscore. And now here I have to give the column name of the attachment table where the sys id of that incident is being stored. I have opened this table here and you can see sys underscore attachment and this is the table sys id which actually stores the column sys id of that incident or any other task which is having that attachment. So I will give that column name here as table underscore sys underscore id and I will submit this. And here we can see the database view has been created. We can give it a label to just to make it unique and I can give INC and attach maybe. And I will save this. And now to test this, we will create a report in service now. And if you don't know how to create reports in service now or you want to learn how to create reports in service now in detail, please click on the top right corner. I will go back here. And I will type reports and under create new. I will create a new report and I can give the name as. Incident with attachment. And then I will keep the source type as table because database views are stored as table in service now. And then I can select the database view name u underscore incident. And this is the one which I just created INC attach. I will select this. I'll click on next and again click on next. And here I can choose the columns. And I will shift the file name on the top and then I can maybe bring the incident number here. And any other thing, for example, short description. So we will have the file name on the top, then the incident number and the short description and you can maybe remove all other fields if you want and maybe add other incident fields if you want. I'll click on OK. And I will save this report. And now we can see this report here, which has the name of the attachment on the first column and then the incident number and the short description. Please note that keep your file name in the first column because it will be then displayed as a link. Then I will go to my dashboard and where I will try to add this report. I'll click on plus and select reports. 
and on the top it will show me INC with attachment and I will add this. I just pressed it two times. I'll just remove the one. Okay. Now we can see this report here in that dashboard. And if you don't know how to create dashboards, please click on the top right corner. And now I'll try to download any one of these attachments. For example, this SAP underscore HR. It is being displayed two times. That means this incident had two attachments with the same name. Similarly, we have incident number 54. It has two attachments. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in comments if you have co any questions. Please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching this video.